hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's Cara here as some of you will know by now um i've been to tesco and aldi today i'm going to try and show you my food shopping i've got tesco out so far with no organization as you can see i've just come in and chucked it all on the side to try and get this haul done before my children get back from school if i get a chance to add the aldi bit in i will if not then i'll just skip that one um like i said there's no organization so wish me luck but here we go um, start at the top, I've got some mushrooms. I bought them because we're having a cooked breakfast for dinner tonight. I got a toasty loaf. I only got one bread because we've got some here already. We quite like the toasty one. Um, the children don't mind medium, but I prefer thick. So I'll grab a medium sometimes just to make it last longer. But generally I'll buy the thick loaf. Um, I've got a little one in the background as well. He's not very happy. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have to stop at some point to sort him out. Savoury eggs just for lunch boxes. Berry Medley yogurts, my husband likes them. Bacon, again, two packs of the unsmoked. We don't really eat smoked bacon very well. I don't ever really buy smoked bacon unless it's by accident. We prefer unsmoked. That's for our cooked breakfast tonight. Butter, just because we're running low. Mayonnaise. We always seem to run out of mayonnaise. Me and Demi, we have mayonnaise with almost everything, so that we're always running out of. Went back to Aldi today for barbecue sauce. That's what I went in for. They didn't have any barbecue sauce again for the second week running and I come out having spent £50 that I didn't plan on going there to spend. So however, I suppose I spent a little bit of Tesco because of spending that in Aldi. So swings and roundabouts, I suppose. Um, a tin top up. I've got two tins of chopped tomato. So I'm probably going to be doing a spaghetti bolognese one night this week. A tin of pork baked beans and sausages because you used one of those for a dinner in last week. Some clear honey. That's because I'm going to do a sticky... Um, what is it? Sticky... Sticky turkey. I've got some turkey in the freezer and I'm going to do a sticky turkey recipe. Meatballs, because she and I use both her meatballs in the week. She really likes them and have them in as spares for her for evening snacks when she comes home from dancing hungry. Two baked beans, two spaghetti rings and two tins of new potatoes. We bought new potatoes last week and ended up using them, so I've restocked those. Two packs of um, six free-range eggs. It's gone really blurry, I'm not sure why. Uh, two packs of six free-range free eggs. I'm just going to stop a little one. I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back with baby in my arms, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but here we go. Um, two packs of six free-range eggs. They were pretty much the only eggs I could get. Not the ones I'd normally buy. I normally buy a bigger pack, but they were. it was really, really limited choice, and there obviously seems to be an egg shortage everywhere. Two semi-skimmed four-pint milk. Um, two packs of the British red potatoes. Um, I bought red potatoes for the first time last week because they were on club card price at 79p and I mean Brooke doesn't particularly like potato anyway but everybody else does and nobody seemed to complain about them other than Alexis. She referred to the mash as clumpy. Not sure what she meant by that because I didn't taste a difference. However, um, she doesn't like gravy so maybe I'd have had noticed the difference if I hadn't have had any gravy with it but either way I've gone for them again just because they were the cheapest option and I think we're only having one meal with potatoes this week so i've just grabbed um two packs of them if she doesn't if she doesn't eat the mash then we'll have to just sort of something else out for her but i'm probably going to try her with it again just in case i don't know maybe it was maybe i'd made a bad batch of mash or something but everybody else seemed to enjoy it so i don't know we'll give them another go however me and my husband did have we only had three potatoes left last week and i'd done them with some steak we had a jacket potato and to be honest they're probably the best jacket potatoes i've had so if I'm going to do jacket potatoes now, I would probably go for red ones. They were really, really yummy. Um, got two of the, two packs of, I think it's two or three. Mm, can't remember. Two or three packs of the giant Yorkshire puddings, because we're going to do sausage and mash in giant Yorkshire this week. Oh, I've done two. Two of those, and then I've got some little ones, because I'll either use the spare. I'm going to do it on a day when Brooke goes to my dad's. It's quite often on a Tuesday, she'll go back to my dad's house um, for, and have dinner there, because my... Um, nephew he goes there on a Tuesday and she'll quite often go back there to see him so um and she doesn't like mash so if we're gonna have a mash dinner I try and do it on a Tuesday so that she is not here for the dinner that she doesn't particularly like so on Tuesday I'm planning on doing sausage and mash and probably peas in a giant Yorkshire pudding um so we'll have me my husband and she and I will have one giant Yorkshire pudding each which will leave one spare and I'll either divide that between the three little ones or keep it spare in the freezer and the little ones um some of the smaller one so it's just convenient on days when we've got dancing which we do on a tuesday not to have to make yorkshire's so it's just quick and easy to pull out the freezer and chuck them in the oven two minute job um i've got two packs of garlic bread because we're probably going to have a pasta bake i think on wednesday and garlic bread to go with that 
a pineapple, a couple more cupboard stuff, um, two packs of pasta. I, we probably only need one pack to bake, but I got two just because I can keep spare in the cupboard for lunches or if we need a, another quick meal if something goes to pot or I forget to get meat out or something to defrost then I've got pasta in the cupboard. Um, some sausages, the children aren't really fussy with sausages, I really like the Tesco finest pork and apple and I've got those out for me to have, I say got them out, I bought them actually in Tesco the other day because I was in there and I knew I didn't have any in the freezer. Um, so they're in the freezer ready for my sausage and mash on, what day so I'm doing that, on Tuesday. So they're in there and the children will have these sausages and I'll probably use a few for the cooked dinner tonight. We've got some fresh ones in the fridge, but if we haven't got enough, then I'll use a few out of that. Biscuit. And some green beans, that's for our sticky turkey. I'm going to do it with rice and green beans and probably some broccoli. I've got two creamy chicken bakes. That's Shania's favourite snack at the minute for when she gets in from dancing. I'm just going to put a little one down and I'll be back again. I'm back. He was trying to touch everything. I'm hoping to whiz through the rest of it before I have to pick him back up. So this is her favourite thing for when she gets in from dancing at the minute. I know that some of that filming was really dodgy. It was because I was trying to hold little one at the same time. And he's at that age now. He just wants to grab and touch everything. Um, two crispy chicken, creamy chicken bakes. They are, like I say, for anybody but Shania, that's her favourite thing to eat at the minute. Her and Brooke quite like these as well. The bean and cheese melts. I did buy some sausage and bean ones last week thinking that they might try them. But neither of them have tried them so far. So they might end up being eaten by somebody else. Um, I've got two of these bakehouse chicken and asparagus pies. They're, we don't plan on having these for dinner this week. It'll probably be a diff dinner for next. But they're on club card price at the minute for £2.50. And they are like probably my most favourite big pie. I find quite often with family pies, when you put them in the oven and cook them, they seem to burn on the top on, or go like soggy on the bottom. Or I don't know, I just don't seem to have much luck with cooking them right. But these ones, every time, they're perfect. They're like a lovely light brown on the top. They're cooked on the bottom and the filling is always... Like they never skimped on filling and they're just really really yummy so i've got two of those probably for dinner next week got a vegetable oil the juice top up i've got an apple and strawberry which i don't think i've seen that one before it's normally i don't know i can't think of what apple oh apple and black is it apple and black currant i think it's apple and black currant or like mixed summer fruits and them sort of things but um apple and strawberry i think that's new so if i've maybe just not seen it before but either way i've got that to try and orange lemon and pineapple that is mostly for me i should have grabbed an orange and mango because my husband really likes that and i think he might be running low too but the orange lemon and pineapple is the only thing i can drink i used to live on fizzy like dr pepper cherry coke and then when i had covid like a year ago it started tasting funny and the only drink i can drink now is orange lemon and pineapple and it has to be the tesco one everything else just tastes like horrible it's, it's just bizarre I, I mean i drink some fridge juices but any squash or i mean especially fizzy drinks i mean covid probably done me a favor because obviously it was really unhealthy the amount of fizzy i was drinking like sometimes two liters a day of like dr pepper cherry coke one obviously it cost us a bomb and two really unhealthy so it's probably done me a favor i mean i didn't like having covid i had awful headaches but yeah it has done me a favor i now literally just live on this orange lemon and pineapple if they i try and keep a spare bottle here because i worry that if they don't have it in one day i'll have nothing to drink um X Zero, that's for my older two girls. They quite like some fizzy. Um, Brooke really likes flavoured water, but Shania will only really drink tap water or this X Zero. There's a couple of other fizzy she'll drink, but not many. And we've got a pack of the bunny bites. They are for Easter. I'm going to not put them in my crisp box. They are for probably if I do like an Easter afternoon tea or something, just because they're bunny themed. A pack of garlic and some kiwis. Some braven apples um, because Brooke likes nicer apples the little ones i can get away with buying like the cheaper apple still but Brooke's a little bit fussy now she likes them to be crunchy and juicy and yeah she really likes them with the brave ones because they were reduced to 70p and the last bit of shopping is a pack of fridge raiders for the older girls lunches actually Brooke doesn't really take them anymore it's just she nice now but Brooke likes these but after packs we've got her three packs of them we've got a ginger that's for our sticky turkey recipe a pack of spaghetti just because it's handy to have in the cupboard and also I'm planning on doing spaghetti bolognese later in the week and um, cream crackers which are already opened I need to get a couple out for a snack earlier um, I've got four packs of the cheese leek and ham pasta because it's Shine Brooks' favourite one a pack of cheese strings they all like the Mississippi Alexi instant custard because it's just something I like to have in the cupboard all the time and now I'm running low a pack of chocolate chip cake bars most of us like them 
some Oreos, mini fingers for lunch boxes, pineapple, <laughs> lucky, just lucky little hand there, timeouts for lunch boxes, discounts for lunch boxes, mollies, cookies, and a variety pack just to pop our biscuit box, lucky, and then these lost baskets, which is blueberries, some ham, two triangles, some raspberries which is in sale or blackberries sorry not raspberries and some sausage rolls and that is it thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll be back with another food haul soon hopefully it will be a little bit smoother selling than this one okay i'm back i didn't think i was going to be but i have managed to squeeze in two minutes just to get these few bits done i don't know if i've remembered everything uh, a couple of bits i'd put away and i've just grabbed back out so Mm, it might all be here it might not um i do know that with some bags of crisps missing i think i bought three multi-packs of crisps which were already away and i'm just not getting them back out um but i'll show you the other bits i've got two kebab wraps because i'm going to do um a chicken and chip kebab wraps this week for me and my husband on a friday night the children pick their own dinner it's always something quick and easy so that friday nights are really chilled so they'll have a pot noodle or a dairy lunchables or toast something on toast or um anything really super noodles microwave meal whatever they want to pick but it's always got to be something quick and easy and then i'll either do something that me and my husband like will eat that the children wouldn't generally eat or we'll also have something really, really quick so that fridays are a really low-key chilled out no fuss dinner um and it gives the children a little bit of choice that all week they have whatever we're cooking and on a friday they get to pick their own thing and they seem to love that so that's yeah that's just what we do on a friday and that's for our friday night dinner for me and my husband i bought two packs because i wasn't sure if one wrap each would be enough so two, pack, two each but they are quite thick so we might only need one pack we'll wait and see bought some strawberries they were 30 percent off obviously they've got today's date on but they'll be fine tomorrow too and they will definitely be gone in one day got three packs of the bunny crumpets obviously they'll be out of date by easter but i'm just going to freeze them and bring them out for easter I also got these for a um, lunch over the Easter holidays because I haven't seen these ones before. Cookies and cream. I think they're £1.35 a pack and I know that they'll be a hit with the brood. And I've just got some plain chocolate ones in case they don't like the cookies and cream ones, which is probably very unlikely, but you never know. I got um, seasoned wedges, waffle fries, caution fries, which I think I'm going to do with the chicken in the kebab wraps on Friday. Me and my husband and curly fries and battered onion rings i stocked up on them because whenever i go to tesco's i always think oh my god look at the price of them chips and i hate paying it so to be fair they're home price like the chunky chips aren't too bad but things like fries and stuff just seem to be extortionate in there other than the little potato pops everything else is mm, seems to be double the price of other places so i just thought i'd have a top up on chips and chuck them in the freezer for whenever we need them got two bottles of flavored water um they're for obviously anyone can drink them but mainly they're for brooke because she drinks flavored water she's not keen on tap water so she prefers to have flavored so got her a strawberry and an apple and black currant pack of pan of chocolates and brioche because i keep them in the cupboard for a really quick breakfast and brooke doesn't really like taking sandwiches and wraps and stuff to school she said they go stale or soggy or i don't know she just doesn't particularly like them so she will sometimes take those instead i got malted wheats and praise because this is like demi's favorite cereal and obviously the dupe of shreddies logan absolutely loves shreddies that's what he has he's actually going for a phase at the minute where after dinner we'll say what do you want for pudding and he says cereal so he's having extra cereal at the minute he even had a bowl um today just while i was cooking dinner he got fed up of waiting he was like i'm hungry i'm hungry i want cereal so i let him have a really small bowl of cereal while he was waiting i mean there's worse things he could be snacking on isn't there definitely and then i got a couple of easter bits so i got these popping candy chocolate bunnies i thought they were really cute i got one for all of them apart from Lockie because he just won't eat that amount of chocolate and i've got these white chocolate and cookies and cream bunnies again one for each of them other than Lockie. and i thought it looks like a bit like a mummy and daddy and if you saw my last vlog with the little kinders in it'll be a bit like a mummy daddy and baby so i thought that was a really cute idea and i've got some little cupcakes because i mean they all have a bit of baking and i'll probably do some over easter with them i mean it's pretty much guaranteed that i will brooke will use any of the left she's obsessed with baking at the moment and i've got one of these for shania because she's obsessed with hedgehogs so that's going away as her second easter egg um i've got i've got them all one big one so far and then i'm going to get them a smaller one each and she's going to have the hedgehog because she's she just loves what i mean she loves all animals to be fair but she loves hedgehogs and she has her own little pyg pygmy hedgehog so that's right up her street she's thought it was really cute it was only 2.99 so that's for her and that 
is all of my shopping for today. I think I feel like all I do is shopping. When I was in um, Tesco today, I heard a lady say, "I feel all I, like I spend my whole life shopping." And I said to her, "I was like, you are not alone. I literally spend my whole life shopping as well. It is. I feel like as soon as I've stocked up and I think right, we've got everything. The next day we need to top up on like milk or bread or fruit, and then before I know it, I'm going back out to do another weekly shop. It just seems like never ending, I suppose, but." hey ho it is what it is so i'm gonna go because i need to go and sort out dinner and i think Lockie's starting to get the hump again as well and i will be back with another vlog soon i'm sure i'll speak to you soon thank you for watching oh and before i go um if you could subscribe and leave a comment or hit the bell for notifications or any of the other things that we all ask you to do that would be amazing thanks for watching bye